Good day, everyone. Today, I am going to present you a um, <clears throat> things that I actually found on the internet, on eBay, and I'm actually quite happy to um, of my purchase. It is what we called a um, Carter rotary converter. What it is is basically it takes 12 volt DC and it transforms it into 115 volt AC, 60 hertz, and it is actually an antique. And the way it actually works, it's basically, it's a motor and it's a generator at the same time. Now, of course, the efficiency is not really there when it's uh, offload. <clears throat> but uh, I'm probably going to do a full maintenance on it to see if I can improve a little bit the uh, no-load amperage. Because right now, <clears throat> with, without any load, it draws about 5 amps at 12, uh, 12 volt. And believe it or not, I had to pull out my 1500 watt power supply to power this little beast because a normal computer power supply wouldn't even start it at 12 volt so I have an amp meter connected I have actually my scope because I wanted to show you the uh, output of it and that's the uh, AC voltage and I do I had hooked up a little socket so I can put some various lights uh, 130 watt. Um, is it? If we can get it to focus. Uh, 50 watt, 130 volts. Uh, incandescent light bulb to LED. Of course, you probably will guess LED. Don't even make a notch on the, on that little thing. Uh, but enough of me talking. I'm going to start it. And uh, you'll actually be able to hear the noise and all that good stuff. Now, of course, there is a little bit of loss in my uh, <clears throat> multimeter leads, but it wouldn't. It's not going to affect it pretty much. So power on right now. So no load. It's stabilized at about uh, five five point three amps. And this is the scope shot. It's not perfectly. Um, a sine wave. Oh, I'm assuming the brush uh, are probably just a little bit dirty, so I'm going to open it, clean the bearing, clean the brushes and everything, and see if I can get a cleaner wave than that. And this is the output. It's a bit high. I have 160 volts, so um, I'll probably have to check if there's some adjustment in there. And then... Uh, Let's go on for the heavy load. It is on now. You can see the light is on. The voltage has dropped to 139 volts. And we are drawing 10 amps. <clears throat> the sine wave, it's, it's a waveform is a bit more sinusoidal than the in the previous one, but you can see that there's quite the amount of noise in here, so uh, I'll see if I can get that cleaned up and uh, if we can get some better uh, waveform out of that. Now, unhooking that without electrocuting myself would be nice. And of course, probably having a better power supply would, would help. We're actually powering it out of a battery. <clears throat> All right, this is a um, <clears throat> nine, a three watt LED light bulb. Sorry for that. I'm just going to drop my camera down. And there we go. We have some light. Voltage 158. And amperage. Well, didn't, didn't move much. And waveform. So, uh, I'll probably do another video after, uh, after a, a complete cleanup. And restore if you see if it actually works better and uh, thanks for watching <laughs>